Hi there, here's a short topic video on the difference between GDP and GNI. GDP is gross domestic product and it measures the total value of the production of goods and services within the geographical boundaries of a country over a given period of time, for example one year. There are three ways of calculating GDP, either the value added from different sectors of the economy, such as manufacturing and services, or aggregate demand, C plus I plus G plus X minus M, or we can sum together all the factor incomes that are generated in the production and the supply of goods and services. But the key point is that GDP is the value of output within the geographical boundaries of a country. Gross national income is similar to GDP, but we just make a simple adjustment. So GNI is GDP plus the net income from external sources in the economy. So for example, some countries have a fairly low GDP but they receive a lot of external income from remittances. These are this is money earned by people living and working overseas, which they send back to their country of origin. The nations on the right hand side of the chart all have in 2012 uh, a level of remittance income of more than 20% of their national income, adding to GNI. Another good example of where GNI might be increased would be where a country receives a significant flow of aid, overseas development assistance. Or it could be that they have major assets overseas, foreign-owned companies, for example, and that causes an inflow of profits and dividends back into a country. So GNI is GDP plus net external income. These are the countries in the world with the highest GNI per capita. Qatar, Luxembourg and Singapore well out ahead. Norway tucked away in fourth place. And there's the UK with a GNI per capita purchasing power parity adjusted of just over $37,000. So GDP and G GNP or GNI are two slightly different measures of the strength of an economy. GDP is the measure of the output produced by a country. GNI or GNP is the output plus the net income from overseas. Here's a good case of a country whose GNI is lower than its GDP. So Ireland has a ratio of GN, GMP to GDP of around 85%. Partly that's because there's lots of foreign-owned companies based in Ireland, attracted by, uh, for example, low corporation tax. And the profits that those companies make leave the Irish economy and go back to the, the country of ownership. Zambia is a country where the ratio of GMP to GDP is also less than 100, partly because a lot of mining takes place in Zambia and the profits of the multinational mining corporations tend to leave the country. And here's the extreme example of East Timor, where G GNP relative to GDP is more than four times. In other words, this is a country heavily dependent on overseas aid. So that's the difference between GDP and GNI.